Good. Well, for many of us, as our weight goes up, as our age goes up, so does our weight. In fact, on average, get this, most of us gain one pound a year after the age of 20. So do that math. And uh, the question is, how do you prevent the weight gain without extra dieting? It's a million-dollar question. And fitness expert Nick Parker is here to join us to talk about three things we can do to stop this from, from happening. We hear about metabolism all the time, and we know you can feel it. The things you did years ago and yeah. the things you ate, you just can't now. <laughs> There's nothing worse than taking a leave of absence from the scale and then all of a sudden bum 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 right. you jump on the scale and you're like what's going on I haven't changed my diet I haven't changed anything and all of a sudden the scales moving up you know it's real common we hear that a lot where people come in they haven't changed anything and the scale starts going up and there's seven reasons that I wrote down there's actually a lot more reasons why our metabolisms slow down but here's a, here's a quick seven yeah our home hormones change is a big one because of lack of estrogen receptors in the brain we uh, decrease level in testosterone another one is stress I mean if you're stressed out you're going to raise cortisol levels. If you raise cortisol levels, then you can overheat your body and it slows your metabolism down. A lack of sleep is a big one, and it's not just because you're tired, but it's because you don't metabolize carbs as efficiently as you should if you're not sleeping you're well. Almost all guilty there too. Yeah, I mean, who's not? And then too much saturated fat, medications like uh, diabetes, antidepressants, um, different uh, hormone therapies will do it. Health conditions, and then the main one would be lack of exercise, obviously. Yeah. Is there anything that we can do to improve our odds a little bit on all this? Yeah, there is. There's, there's some interesting things I want to talk about. The number one thing is we need to move more. Um, one of the things that we found, uh, there was a study done just recently came out over the last 20 years that movement and exercise is a bigger culprit than calorie intake. Wow. Yeah, I, th I thought that was interesting. So you got to start moving a lot more. you got to exercise more. The biggest thing is to start moving more. At, every year you need to add a little bit more exercise. Every year you need to add a little bit more frequency, a little more intensity. Intensity. That's the biggest thing. So exercise more to begin with will help you fight that. The sleep thing is the one that's getting me because yeah. everybody says I want to get more sleep and it's so much harder it to is. do that. Yeah, exactly. It is hard. But you know, one of the things that will help you get sleep is to grab some weights, which is number two, mm -hmm. because grabbing weights will wear you out so you can sleep better. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, but here's what's interesting, Ryan, is um, there's been a lot of controversy around, you know, one pound of muscle burning 50 extra calories per day per pound of muscle. And I hate to bust your bubble, but it's not true. Not true. It's not true. It will burn only about 10 more calories per day. But do the math. Think about it. Yeah. If you burn 10 more calories a day and you put on 10 pounds of muscle, that's 100 pounds per, or 100 calories, not pounds, 100 calories right. per day. That's... 10 pounds a year. What a difference that makes. 10 pounds a year in weight loss. Plus, you're going to burn more calories and process your carbohydrates and your fats a lot better if you do regular resistance training. You can do body weight exercises at home. It doesn't have to be heavy weights. You just got to move some weights around, and your body weight exercises are a fantastic way to do that. So get the weights, and what's our last tip? Our last one is just say no to the extras. You know, over time, if your metabolism is slowing down and you start adding in extras like empty calories, a little bit more sugar, a little bit more saturated fat, you're not really paying attention and you increase your calories by just a tiny bit then yeah you're going to have the weight gain creep and the last thing you want is the weight gain creep so it's stay like away the from fountain the of youth if you could find a way to stop the metabolism yeah. we'd, we'd be great right for exactly sure. for sure so Nick, yeah there you have some it. good tips for sure it can be done all right good to see you as well yeah, you and, uh, let's get over to amy so there you go i hope you wrote those down amy. i did i was taking notes the whole time good.